Well, that definitely could have turned out better. Viking Dance Instructor, I hope you come back with something awesome. Because we need it. Yeah, I'm going to be happy if you finish these stools. Also, could you, like, yeah, get the chest table going, because you know what? We actually need to prioritize the joy item. And the sculpture. Add some beauty over here. Thank you. Yeah, it's normal quality. I guess it's fine. We can sell them later. But for now, I'm hoping that it beautifies things a wee bit. Mm. Raptors! Clever girl. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now, when these things get hungry and decide they need to take a bite out of uh, my colonists, then I'm going to have a really, really bad, bad time. At least there's no permanent injuries to Freaky Man. That's the one good thing. Rip Colony, yeah. Fucking dinosaurs show up. This mod is brutal. I'm not even on the highest difficulty. I think I'm on one of the... Okay, I'm not on the normal... Um, Storyteller. There are like three new storytellers that were added in. One that's like super lots of combat. One is like on every weekend, every like regular interval, there's going to be something crazy. And another one is just like, we're going to throw not pure combat, but lots of insanity stuff. Those stools don't give the 5% extra speed. You need to research ones, I think. Yeah, but as long as it gives a little bit of extra comfort, it should overall help our mood going forward. That's mostly what I'm hoping for. That's mostly what I'm hoping for. Big Robo, I know you're not fully rested, but I'm still going to wake you up for now. Are you going to do a little bit of that? I guess that's fine. Watch the sunrise. You need a little bit of joy. I was hoping you'd play chess, but you know, whatever. Watch the sunrise. It's actually really cool that they do, like, topical things. Now cloud watching. And you're going to go cloud watching as well. You have, Freaky Man has a really freaky face mask on. What are you wearing? Muffalo head garment. Alright. The whole muffalo head on your head. Robo, you are hauling iron ore. Okay. Consuming the meal. Great. And you can't smelt. Oh, right! We need, um... You can't smelt unless you've got charcoal. Of course, we know this from playing Dwarf Fortress. Uh, mm, always keep, like, 25 units of charcoal around. We're gonna make that a higher priority. Actually, no. Make it a lower priority. Because if you can do the, the other things. So, you're gonna smelt some... Wood. You're going to turn wood into charcoal, and then you'll be able to start making steel, which we need for the rest of our industry. And you're also going to go out and pick up stuff. You don't have a gun anymore. Yeah, well, that's because you went berserk. Is it sitting around in our inventory? No, we don't have any room. I should expand our storage some more. I don't know. Go and grab that Remington. Oh, I hope Viking Dance Instructor makes it back alive. There we go. Now we're starting to smelt some steel bars. We're already up to 45. Oh, I think they're making batches of 20. Very nice. Which means we'll be able to get our stone cutters table up again really soon. As soon as we get a little bit more steel. <gasps> Team returned from the treasure map location. They found some overgrown hills and nice alley with a small stream. After an excessive search with the help of the map, your team found a buried chest. There was a note mentioning some smuggling group with the re also and also the real treasure. They returned with 182 silver. Well, I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't know if that was worth three days of a lost person. Um, and I wonder if we'd set more people, if they would have been able to haul back more stuff. But whatever, I can't complain. That'll be really handy once we can get a trade beacon set up, which we might be able to do soon. What is that under? Miscellaneous, I think. We don't have the steel now, but we're producing steel now. Um... Actually, we don't need that much outside. I'm going to do this. And then I'm also going to go and very soon acknowledge the fact that we just got a tip. Um, wooden plank walls. Actually, hold on. Granite walls. Just box that in. And here and there. And we'll get another room done. And then we'll start using this for more storage. And once this is enclosed, I'll build a doorway that connects things up. So what was that? Battle Hunter! Uh, you need the stools for them to play chess. Also, it seems your colonists have debuffs from cannibalism. Have they been eating the, the human meat? Cooked cannibalism. Oh, okay. So that's very... Thank you. 
So we need to make sure they don't cook the human meat. I still want them to butcher the humans. But I don't want them to cook the humans. Now, I don't know if they've eaten the human meat or not. But let's make sure they don't cook any more humans. And hopefully that will go away quite quickly. Oh, it's because you cooked it specifically. And yeah, it goes away in 1.3 days. So that, that modifier will go away pretty quickly. But there we go. Continue to improve the moods. Another trader has come. Um, we might have enough steel. Yeah, no, we need a little bit more steel. Mosquito self-tamed. We have a pet mosquito? That? Get slaughtered, punk. I wonder if there's any stuff lying around. There probably is. Oh, another boom rat died over here, I think. Be interesting to see exactly how far that fire goes. You got... No. What? I didn't... I'm not picking the... There we go. Unforbid some more survival meals over there. Of those raptors running around. Jesus. Yeah, at some point they're going to get hungry and they're going to go after one of my colonists. Okay. We need to get the research actually up and running now. I don't want to do this. I still like hauling. Now, we got to get the research going. Let me just temporarily send it up to one. I'll bring the hauling down to two. Actually, I'll bring all the hauling down to two at this point. That's going to be okay. Get the research up to a one, so that way Freaky Man will be working on a research. I mean, we still need lots of things, but... We don't have our trade beacon. Ah, we finished the first project. Yeah, it happens instantly. So now our research projects start to come in. Here's the first power research, uh, which unlocks conduits, lights, the steam generator, and the wind turbine. Uh, also unlocked are the glassworks, the cook stove, so we can cook some things, and items to assist temperature control. Okay. There's crafting. Ability to grow cotton and double strand, turn into cloth, sounds useful. Basic defense, which is just sandbags and alarm system, it's not even turrets yet. Construction level one. Construct robust structure using metal bars and stone blocks, also increases wall durability. And agriculture. Allows the growing new crops, which are native to this planet. Unlocks the ability to cultivate corn, rice, and strawberries, although we still need seeds. Also hydroponic gardening, also fences to keep critters away from the crops, which sounds pretty damn useful. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to start with power one. Because getting the cook stove going would be nice. We can actually cook our potatoes. What's taters? Hey, Haza, thanks for the resub. 12 months in a row. It's the one year sub -aversary. Woo! Do, 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 do. I like the idea of fencing this stuff off, too. Um, what you doing? Oh, you're hauling some stuff into our limited capacity. That's fine. Then doing a little bit of research. Also good. And you're going to make your charcoal and some more steel, which is really important. Viking dancing sector is just going to take another chill, which is okay. I don't suppose you can build this yet. Yeah, you can. Good. Prioritize building the trade beacon so we can start doing some trade. No, I know. You're making a meal. I don't care. Let's go. Nope. I know you're hungry. Man, it'll be nice to get this enclosed and we can build a doorway between these two sections. All right, eat your goddamn meal. It's fine. Freaking man's in the poor mood. Cook cannibalism. That's going to go away really soon, right? First one expires in 0.4 days. Okay. Hideous environment. It is pretty dirty in here, which is one of the reasons... We know you don't have that much to clean. I'm actually going to make cleaning a top priority for everyone. Just keep the whole place as neat as possible. There's not a lot of work involved because it's not a big area. There's blood all over. Yeah. I thought the statues might help. Um, Where is our room stats? Dull, hideous. Ooh, psychic drone. All only affects male people. Well, luckily, all of our people are male, therefore. Oh no! Viking dance instructor is female. So, Viking dance instructor is immune to the psychic drone, and one of our people is also psychically dull. Big robo over here, so he's gonna get less of a penalty, which is nice. Where are you off to? Are you hunting? Oh, you're butchering something that had died. Aha! Yeah, you're going to walk right by the two raptors while they're sleeping. And then walk right by them again. That's fine. That's okay, we need meat too. Yeah, the blood from this is not good. How 
come they're not cleaning, actually? Do we have to unlock some sort of cleaning thing? Cleaning is their number one priority, but they're not actually doing any of it. I mean, this is our home area. Oh! You need to set a cleaning area? <gasps> Amazing! Separating out the home area from the cleaning area. That's really great! There we go. Keep this area clean, especially since it's one big giant room. That's really great! Because I want a bigger home area for firefighting, but I don't want people cleaning some areas that are stupid. Shit, yeah. Can make meals on campfires and temperature control. Okay, that's good to know. That's actually really nice to know. So, temperature control. Wooden fire pit, which just needs wooden logs. Um, and we got heaters. And there's campfire. Need kindling for that. Produces heat, burns out a few days. It must be placed in st indoors so it has a closed space to heat. Oh, to be heat. Simple fire pit. You can use it to burn unnecessary things. Can you also use it to cook? Campfire cooks. So, over here, if we had a bill to have kindling, keep 50 units of kindling around. We can give it a try. Not sure if they changed. Last time I played, you get 30 meat off flies and mosquitoes. It's three meals off a fly. Yeah, these are giant mosquitoes, though. Giant, horrible mosquitoes. Psychic drone. Oy. Disturbed sleep, of course, is going to be a problem. How come Big Robo's working through the night? They all have the same schedule. Whatever. Cargo pods! Be something really awesome and useful. A bunch of meat. I'll take it. Someone will probably eat it first, but that's okay. If It's not the end of the world if some of it gets eaten. What are we doing on steel? Oh, we got a lot of it. I mean, I did set an unlimited job. I guess it's because it's got all these chunks of things. I don't know. Huh. Anyway, you can stop at like... 150. It's fine. You don't literally have to do it forever. Although it will go pretty quick. But you got other things you need to do too. So still working on growing potatoes. Krusty Cat, thanks for the sub. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get some new colonists soon. Yeah, I know. Keep an account on your, uh, your spare parts. Um, that is a huge problem because... Uh, we can build an assembly bench. We actually have the materials for that. And that's where you would construct more spare parts. The problem is some of the things that you would build in here, you need like a crafting skill of six or something like that. And we don't have that. I am trying to get Big Robo to mostly focus on crafting. Um, he's still at a four. He's only like a quarter of the way there. He's got no passion for it, so he learns slower. He does have some clothing on, which is supposed to give him a learning bonus, but it still kind of sucks. It would be really nice if we could recruit or kidnap someone uh, who's got a higher crafting skill or a passion for it. And if I was making a, a, a sort of a, a custom start um, with things more optimized, I would definitely do that. But again, this start, I just stuck with it. It was just a test. It was supposed to just be a test. And I saw this cool environment, and I just had to keep it. Um, so my people really aren't optimized for things. Okay, so we finished power level one. Excellent. Um, crafting level one, maybe. We will want to go up in the security at some point. Sandbags are pretty good. But I think we're going to go up to construction one first. We don't need the agriculture yet, because we actually can grow potatoes, which seems like a pretty good start. Where are you going, Freaky Man? Oh, you're hauling more survival meals. Right. Well, they didn't get eaten yet, which is nice. We got more iron ore, which I guess I can unforbid. Watch the raptors. Suppose I could restrict them. Especially you with just a handgun. Oh, traders have arrived. Now, have we... Okay, you're still fine. We haven't finished this. Tell you what. Let's prioritize this. Lovely. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, create a stockpile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split. I'm going to delete the stockpile from here. 
and then recreate it outside there, although I don't want the doorway to be part of the stockpile. And then we're gonna set rules here. You are gonna allow nothing except for raw resources. So that'll be I don't know if um I don't know if the plants wear down. They might go away, so not that. But yeah, blocks and stuff and wooden bits, you can be stored outside. And they'll make you like, I don't know, like preferred importance. And you over here will basically be Not the raw resources. Actually, can I reset this to the default? I guess I would just recreate it. Whatever, just put it back, that's fine. On normal priority, and then in here is where we're going to focus mostly on our food. Oops. It's not refrigerated yet. Um, I guess... We'll just have that stay at the default setting, that's okay. The important thing is to use the outside storage for stuff we don't care about as much. Or that, that won't go bad, and that'll leave some room in here. It is going to require that we do some shuffling, but it'll free up a lot more space for indoors. And so the traders are just bumming around, they haven't actually set up. But we'll be able to trade for the very first time, because we have our orbital trade beacon here. We don't have a comms console, but that's okay, we don't need it. Now these guys, again, I think they're going to be mostly tribal, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to get that much useful stuff out of them, but hopefully some. Psychic Drone is ending. Thank you very much. Our moods are finally improving. How's the, the space over here? Interesting, luxurious, spacious. It's got a lot of wealth because there's a lot of stuff in it. Spacious, neutral, a little bit dirty, but other than that, actually, the space is very nice. And if we take a look at these guys' needs, their space is nice and comfortable. The beauty is nice and comfortable. We haven't hit, like, super pretty yet. Uh, but it's not too shabby. Okay, who is our social person? Big Robo. It's not such a full negotiate, in case we do want to tame people. Let's go and trade. Give them all the human meat, yeah. We can get more seeds, too, to grow more types of stuff. So, what can we sell them? We can sell them charcoal, which is really just wood that we can burn some more of. Let's do some of that, actually. We got infinite woods. Um, I'll keep some of the blocks. It's sort of a pain to produce. And the iron ore, I don't know if we're going to have unlimited amounts of that. We have rubble? I don't know, maybe we can do something with rubble. I don't know. Fuck it, get rid of the rubble. It's not worth very much. But I don't care. Soylent green. Mmm, delicious. So, I don't see human meat in here. Maybe they're not interested. Or maybe we ate it. So, I don't think we can get any metal bits, right? We can't get spare parts or anything from these guys. No. I think I am interested in buying seeds, though. Uh, maybe just a couple of each. Bamboo sounds like a pretty smart thing. So, yeah, basically just, like, enough to get started. We're going to get tiny little plots of a bunch of different types of plants. And hopefully this is going to continue to spread uh, to create more and more seeds going forward. There we go. Mostly going to save our money for now. I'm going to accept this. There we go. Tons of seeds. Going to clutter up our side view. Ah! A raid. Now, this is our first raid. So, it should only be one person. And it's just me or is he naked? He's got pants on. And a shiv. And that is it. Get out here. Think, oh, they're not preparing. Okay, I thought I thought they were preparing, but no, they're attacking right away. So, line up over here. I guess because of the tree, I can't actually align myself the way I was hoping. Come on, guys. Yes! Alright, what do you look like? Health. Well, you haven't lost any bits. You can't craft or clean, but you can haul, you can shoot pretty good. God, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna capture him. Um, I need a prisoner room. I 
I can make the whole thing a prisoner room and set up some beds over here instead. I think I like that idea. I mean, hopefully he doesn't cause too much trouble over there, but... Um, right. Go ahead and capture him. And then... So these beds are going to be outside for a little while. I'm probably out of blocks of the right kind. Uh, marble, granite. Am I out of granite? No, I've got some. Not as many as I might like, though. Alright. Recruitment chance. That's not too hard at all, actually. Okay, we're not going to use any medicine on them. But we are going to try to recruit them. Guy sleeping next to raptors. Big Robo. Oh no, you were you were you're cloud watching next to raptors. Yeah, not particularly bright. Oh, more traders, excellent. And I don't think yeah, you're from uh, Nova Corps, so you're not tribals. So it'll be interesting to see what we get. Still have some meat sitting outside. There we go. Previous traders have gone away. So we're getting lots of traders. The question is, are we gonna get things we need out of them or not? That, I don't know. Yeah, see, construct... That's why, like, I normally leave construct and repair as such a high priority. If I want something built, I want it built right away. By basically everyone. Alright, let's trade. Chemical protection suits. Yeah, this is not handy. We might want to buy a drill head. I don't know what's involved in producing it, and later on we're definitely going to need one. I'll buy one just in case we can't build it ourselves. I don't think we're going to buy any ore or synthetic ammonia. We're not going to sell you anything. There we go, that's fine. Yeah, see the left side. I can collapse this, right? Um, there we go collapses down. That'll be a lot better of a view. And I'll leave up, say, there, the blocks, because that's actually quite relevant. Fruit. So we've got 18 meals. Mostly survival meals. We're not doing much hunting right now. Why would that be? Viking Dance Instructor still has hunting as a pretty high thing. I mean, he'll construct first, which is fine, and do some cleaning, which doesn't actually matter here. Although I should expand our cleaning area include this. I may just not have much things uh, flagged for hunting anymore. Let's hunt this llama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we are doing communication. It's fine. We've traded already. Go away, game. We got some rim dogs over here. Yeah, I'm going to feel bad if I kill more of them. Although, they're probably going to get hungry and start attacking my people. You know what? Let's keep these guys trimmed down. All the aggressive carnivores. Oh, no. We still have the alpha beavers tagged, so... Hunting should still happen. It might just be that there's enough raw meat around that he's prioritizing cooking above other things. And of course, right now, he's going to help construct all this stuff first, which I'm okay with. Whoa! They roofed that whole area. Interesting. Um, poor mood. Okay, that's fine. Where are you going, Grim? You're just, you're just moving. Oh, that's, oh, that's the traitor. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can walk right through the raptors, it's fine. They're not hungry right now. Thank goodness. We're gonna have to set up some proper defenses here soon. We don't have, like, much. The only thing we've got under security is traps. Which we will probably attempt to do. Okay, I don't want the seeds to be out here. Oh, no, yeah, seeds are not allowed out there. I guess they just haven't been hauled inside. 